Hey there, it's Terry, and you have tuned in to Tuesday's Traveling Tips with Traveling Terry from T&D Travel Partners, and just want to welcome you. Today, we're going to talk about the elephant in the room, and that is the coronavirus virus and your travel plans and how it affects it. And I'm going to do a lot of reading because I did a lot of research to prepare um, today's vlog, and I want to make sure I get it all correct, all right? So kind of bear with me. First of all, the coronavirus is not the Black Plague. It's not the end of the world, and this is not doomsday, okay? We have had far worse viruses affecting us before, and we've recovered from it. And despite the media's insistence on a, if it bleeds, it reads, feeding frenzy, frenzy we will survive this one as well. I'm not going to go into statistics and medical advice because I'm not qualified to address those issues. Um, you can Google whatever questions you have um, in, in your area of concerns. I'm just going to address the areas that I've been able to stay on top of between the governmental agencies and the travel industry. So the question paramount in everyone's mind right now is, should you uh, cancel your travel plans? And the advice on this is never ending and it's all conflicting. The White House has been working very closely with the travel industry um, and everyone's um, main mission is to ensure the welfare of all of our clients. Um, the State Department's re recent release warning travelers not to cruise was met with shock from both the White House, the CDC, and the travel industry. That morning, the travel industry representatives had met with the White House with Vice President Pence and discussed the effects of the, uh, the virus and what the travel industry is doing to ensure the welfare of all of our travelers. So we were all totally blown away with that um, release from um, the State Department. And that statement was not based on anything from the CDC, from H or WHO, um, or from any medical expertise whatsoever. It was their own um, take on things. So I want you to keep that in mind, okay? Now this morning, Dr. Anthony Fossey, who is the Director of National Institute of Allergies and Infectious Diseases, told reporters that if you are healthy, there is no reason to cancel or avoid cruise vacations, all right? The bottom line we in the industry are getting from all the medical and government sources that we're in contact with is that it is safe to travel as long as you're healthy. Yes, there have been cases on board ships where guests were quarantined when we first had to deal with the notice of the virus, okay, when we got hit, you know, hit the first time. And yes, there have been instances where ships have been denied entry into some of the Caribbean islands, and that is because of that particular Islands government requiring documentation on the health of every passenger and crew member on that ship that aren't readily available to the cruise lines with such short notice. Not because there were any active cases, although in rare instances there were one or two crew members who did test positive, but in most cases everyone has tested negative. All right. And yes, there are cruise ships who are making itinerary changes as a result of these denied um, entry issues because they don't have any control over an island denying them entry. And so they're doing their very best to make sure that the um, passengers on board those ships are having a wonderful time um, regardless of all this. Okay, so when people get really angry at the cruise lines because their itinerary changed or there's delayed entry or whatever, it has nothing to do with anything that the, the cruise lines have control over. So please don't get angry at them. This is hitting all of us in the industry really hard, okay? Now, if you have a compromised um, immune system, you shouldn't be traveling. That has nothing to do with the coronavirus. That is just good common sense. If you, it, you have the same chances of catching the flu or any other infectious virus if you have an, a compromised immune system. When Dan was going through chemo, we didn't travel because we knew he should not be exposed to a lot of germs. And that holds true for anyone with compromised immune systems. And every governmental and medical agency has said the same thing. Common sense precautions such as washing your hands frequently, covering your coughs and sneezes are your very best course of action to prevent this virus just like it is for any other virus. 
Now, you might wonder why some of the other countries have a pandemic um, right now with the coronavirus. So let me give you some information about what sets them apart from us. Um, let's face it, many other countries simply do not engage in the same personal hygiene habits that we do in the United States. Other countries, say um, uh, Italy, for example, are much more touchy-feely than we are. They are not really about their personal space. Um, they uh, kiss and hug everybody when they greet them. So there's, um, they're far more accentuated um, with the personal contact from one person to another. The Italians also failed to take it seriously when it first hit Italy. And when the schools and events were canceled and closed, instead of quarantining themselves at home, they decided this is a great time, the kids are out of school, let's go on holiday. So they exposed themselves to large crowds and lots of germs by going to resorts and holiday locations. And that just increased their exposure to the germs. Another factor is that in a lot of countries, they have an older population that's larger than ours. And anywhere you have a larger, older population, you're going to have more compromised immune systems. So it is going to increase um, the mortality rate in those countries. So where do we stand right now with our travel suppliers? And believe me, it has been a roller coaster of emotions as we've tried to keep up with all of the travel suppliers. They've tried to keep up with everything that's going on in the industry. And it's, it's, it's crazy right now, all right? So let me ta start by telling you, I have several clients who are, have either just returned from a cruise or are currently cruising, and they've been in contact with me. They've told me how hard the ship's crews are working to ensure that far and beyond precautionary measures are being taken. The ships are make, working hard to make sure everyone's having a great time because their livelihood depends on that cruise line staying operational. And crowds on board the ships right now are a little bit smaller than they might be at other times. So maybe this isn't such a bad time to cruise just for that reason. Now, the cruise lines have implemented additional health screening methods, methods that were recommended by the CDC and WHO. They're monitoring all guests cruising with health forms and taking everyone's temperature as part of the check-on. And anyone that it, they even remotely think might test positive. They're coughing, they're sneezing, they've got hoarseness, um, they've got a fever. They're going to make sure that they do not board. And that's that's just precautionary. It'll make those people very angry if they don't have um, the virus. But it's one of the things that they are doing to make sure that we don't have any um, issues on board. Um, onboard crew members are stationed throughout the ship with hand sanitizers. And instead of the buffets line being self-service, they're now um, more like you would go to a, um, a cafeteria, they're serving you. And the same thing with self-serve ice cream, they are serving you. So they're doing everything they can to keep that part safe for you. The impact right now has um, really affected every avenue of travel. Most of the airlines have suspended flights to certain countries, including China, Hong Kong, and Italy. Most of these suspensions are through the last week of April, no further right now, okay? So any flights from May 1st on, you're okay. April, you cannot fly to Italy, you cannot fly to Hong Kong, you cannot fly to China. Um, these, uh, and um, Italy is closed. I mean, they, the government has said you can't come in, you can't come in, you can't go out, all right? All major cruise lines have initiated policy changes to allow guests to cancel their March April and May cruises without penalty, and that's only March, April, and May of this year, without penalty, as long as you rebook a future cruise within the twelve next 12 months. If you just cancel it, you're going to be subject to the normal cancellation um, penalties. Just as an example with Carnival Cruise Lines, and keep in mind that every cruise line has initiated their own cancellation policy modification, Okay. Sorry, I got a kid calling in. Um, guests who elect to go ahead and cruise will receive an onboard credit. That means if you're booked for um, your cruise in March, April, and May, and you go on that cruise, you're going to get an onboard credit. The amount of the cre credit varies from $100 to $200, and it's based on the number of days you'll be sailing. Guests who elect to cancel your March, April, or May cruise and rebook a new cruise will receive a future cruise credit for the full amount, but it has to be used within the next 12 months. 
You will have to pay a deposit on the next booking, uh, next cruise that you're booking, um, and then the future cruise credit will be applied to the balance, okay? Um, I just talked to my business development manager at um, Carnival, and we're trying to work that out. I know guarantees, but I am trying to work out a way to um, reimburse you sooner, okay? We're, we're going to try to see if we can get that deposit back to you faster. Um, future cre cruise credit will be applied to your new booking, and if there's a credit remaining, like your new booking is less than the one you canceled, that difference is going to be applied as an onboard credit when you sail. And if there's money due, you will have to pay that additional amount of money by your new final payment date. And as I said, if you cancel because of the virus, you are subject and don't rebook a new cruise, you are subject to the normal cancellation policies based on whether you have travel protection or whatever phase you're in um, for the pe penalty policy. I hope this helps you make an informed decision about your future travel plans. Now, by the way, there are some pretty awesome promotions going on right now if you want to book a cruise, as you can well imagine. As an example, Carnival is running a $50 per person reduced deposit sale on early saver bookings. Now, all you have to do is reach out to me by phone or email. My information will be below, and you can book your cruise. And one last note, as you can imagine, my office is crazy busy right now answering questions and helping our clients through this problem, all right? And on top of that, the phone lines to the travel industry, travel suppliers is insane. Some have two to three hour waits and others just tell us when we call to call back again later because they can't even put us in the queue to wait for a, a representative. That means we might not be able to answer your questions right away or we might have to tell you that we're just gonna have to wait until we hear back from the suppliers. We are all at their mercy. It also means that if you aren't traveling in the next four to six weeks, we may have to put your request at the bottom of our queue as we handle bookings that are imminent. Please be patient with us and thank your lucky stars that we're the ones making those phone calls and having to wait instead of you because you were smart enough to use your fantastic vacation designer, me. Thanks for listening in and please be sure to show us some love with a like, and we appreciate your comments. And if you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll try to get you an answer. We would love for you to subscribe to our Tuesday's travel tips so you don't miss anything in the future. And you pay us the highest compliment when you refer us to your friends and share. So talk to you next week. Until then, have a fantastic week. Bye-bye.